The Little Chapel That Stood by A. B. Curtis. Illustrated by Murto Golino. Around the chapel of Old St. Paul blow the dancing leaves of the coming fall. In the morning breeze they leap and fly beneath the towers that scrape the sky. George Washington's family worshiped here. Alexander Hamilton's grave lies near. Since 1766 has stood this house of God and bricks, solid and steadfast as time whirled around it, unchanged since horse and carriage found it. A solace to presidents, help to the poor, no one was ever turned from its door. An immigrant's refuge, a sojourner's peace, where hope is born and sorrows cease. As the centuries passed and the city grew dense, its buildings grew higher and wider, immense, and tallest and grandest, the city's great pride, the New York Twin Towers rose up by its side. The stress of power, the rush of people, found comfort and rest beneath its steeple. But doom, doom was coming all the time. Doom, doom to a city fair and fine. Doom, doom was in the plains that climbed. Doom, doom, and then the sirens whined. Two planes hijacked by a terrorist crew struck the Twin Towers, no warning, no clue. Who thought it could happen or knew what to do? Firemen came and New York's men in blue. Through the flying glass and smoke and din, thousands rushed out as these brave men rushed in. On the stairwell to safety, there was no stranger. Each helped the other flee from the danger. And some who climbed down, remember clear cut, the faces of firemen climbing up. And then, oh, unthinkable thought, they fell. One tower, the other, they fell, fell, fell. They fell with a rush and they fell with a roar. The sky was blank where they'd been before. And more was lost than who can say. It was our hearts came down that day. Through the clouds of black, no one could see how far spread this calamity. The giants around it had come to a fall. but not the chapel of old St. Paul. It was something of wonder, a symbol of grace. The steeple still there, not a brick out of place. Some say the giant sycamore wood had saved the little chapel that stood. The old chandeliers that they'd packed away through two world wars, they did not sway. Then the crystals reflected a busy scene when the doors opened up to the rescue team. There were firemen's shoes on the old iron fence where they'd earlier hung them in haste, quick and tense. As they pulled on their boots and raced to the towers, climbing melting steel to flaming showers. Oh, what gallant men did we lose who never came back to get their shoes. Ground Zero smoldered, dark and grim. Our hearts stood still. Then we pitched in. Helpers brought shovels and pails or pans. 
If they had nothing else, they dug with their hands to clear the mountain of crumpled steel from a nightmare that was all too real. New York is the greatest city in the world, said the mayor. It has the greatest people and we will never let a bunch of terrorists make us fearful. Rescuers worked through the night and the day. In the chapel they'd pause, then go on their way. A hot cup of coffee, something to eat. Here the firemen, welders, policemen would meet. All would come to rest from their labor, volunteer, doctor, brother, neighbor. Policemen and firemen led the way but other heroes braved that day. Passengers flying on flight 93 said goodbye, I love you, to their family and fought the terrorists right to the ground. Was the White House where their plane was bound? We raised up the flag from the dust and the pain. Freedoms that lost must be won again. Each one of us is a link in that chain to do something grand or to do something plain. First we take heart, then we take aim. Our littlest good deed is never in vain. Working together is how we got through it. Little by little, we learned how to do it. It's nice to be big and it's nice to be tall, but sometimes, being little doesn't mean being small. Just like the chapel of old St. Paul, hear the bells of freedom and what they say. Terror may come, but it will not stay. It will shake our world, but we will not sway. It will block the path, but we'll find our way free beneath the stars that shine both night and day.